welcome to another awesome episode of Lola Pop. I am so excited. Check out what we're doing today. Yeah. Pop stars. These are so cool. These are made of wood. I have this awesome little spider. This cool skull. It's kind of a creepy skull that has little spiders all over it. And then I've got this cute little squirrel. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeaker. Meow. Now you might be asking, Lola, what are we doing with these things? And what are they? These are actually Halloween decorations that we are gonna be painting today, yeah! And what makes these super special and unique? Well, check this out. Count down with me. Three, two, one. <gasps> wow, look at this, they glow. Okay, so our spider is glowing this really bright red color and so is our skull with the creepy spiders on it. Now, of course, our cute little squirrel has to be unique and this one has just a bright white glow on it. Woo! These are so fun. Perfect for Halloween. Our little squirrel friend is actually just perfect for fall in general. This one is so fun. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing with them today is we're gonna be painting them and decorating them and making them look so amazing. So of course, what do I need? Woo, it's paint. This is so fun. It has eight different colors in here. So you have bright white, orange, light lime green, this like aqua blue color, there's purple, there's black. What color is that back there? Oh, it looks like it's actually another white one back there. And then I have a dark green right there. These colors are perfect for Halloween. And we're gonna be using these to decorate and paint our awesome wooden little decorations. Woo! I want to start off with our spider. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light on this. It's just a little switch on the back. And we'll turn off the switch on this one too. Boop, boop. We're going to put these ones aside. Bring back our spider. Let's get to painting. Yeah. Woo. Oh, missing purple. Where'd the purple go? Come on, purple. Get out of here. All right, pop stars. So I have my little spider out and I brought out all of the paints. Now we just need to decide what colors we're gonna put where on our little spider. Now what I do love about it and I don't wanna miss out on any of the fun is there's all these little tiny details that are on the spider. So I think it's important that even when we're painting this that we don't leave out all the things that make this so special. Now that doesn't mean that we have to keep the same shape but I definitely wanna have all the details that we can. Let's get started. Now purple is actually one of my favorite colors. I think I'm going to start off with this really pretty purple color and we are just going to go ahead and start painting all over our spider. Woo! Now what I love about this paint is it's like really thick and mushy and gooey but man what a pretty purple color that is. Da, 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 de, da, 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 da. I'm going to paint along this little edge like that so if you see there's like a little line that's on there and I kind of want to leave that part out. I think that it would just look so cool if we didn't paint that outer edge. At least not paint it purple. Maybe we can paint it another color. What do you pop stars think? Should we paint the outside a different color? We have lots of options. Now, in case you're wondering, I did find these little decorations at Michael's, the craft store, and they were really, really inexpensive and so much fun. So this is really awesome, really cute. They had a bunch more designs. I just really liked the spider and the skull and of course our little squirrel. Ooh, I got a little bit messy right there. Way outside the line on that one. Like, oh, and I'm missing some spots up here. Oh, come on, Lola. All right, let's get up there. Hey, Dickie, the little spot right there. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Okay, I think I got it. I got it. Did I get it? Did I get it? Kinda. I still think there's a little spot that's there. Come on, paint, get in there. I got it. I made a big mess of the leg, but at least I got the one spot. I guess that makes it worth it, kinda. One leg left. Brush the rest of the paint that's on my paintbrush in there. Okay, so I have this whole spider is painted purple. I love purple. And this looks so pretty. Ooh. Okay, let's see what other color we can add to our spider, yeah! Let's get the paint off. Get the paint off the paintbrush. If I'm gonna use my paintbrush again, I gotta clean it off, clean it off. Ooh. Sometimes cleaning off the paintbrush 
can be the most fun out of everything. Hey, if you can have fun while cleaning, then I say clean away. Yeah, look at that clean brush. Oh, I'm just a clean little paintbrush. I can't wait to paint more things. I'm gonna put my purple paint away. Let's pick out a different color to add to our spider. Hmm, I think, what if we add, because I want some more colors in here. Definitely wanna come back in with some black, maybe a little bit of white, but a color would be really awesome. How about green? Ooh. This isn't just like a regular green. This is a bright lime green. I love this color. It's so bright and vibrant. And I think that this color right up against this purple is gonna look so nice. I mean, look at those two colors together. This is like a witchy spider. I feel like purple and green. It's very wicked witchy. Whoa, look at that color. That is so bright, so pretty. Okay, pop stars, so you know how we talked about those little tiny details that are on the legs of the spider and how I didn't want to lose them? So you can still see them kind of popping through on there, but I think that we can come back in with our green paint and really make those things pop. Instead of using this paintbrush, I'm gonna use a paintbrush that has a smaller tip on it, so then that way we can really get in on those little tiny details. Let's do it. Again, with a really bright green and this thick paint. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna go in with my green paint. Ooh, I feel like that might be a little bit too much paint on that paintbrush for me to get those details in. So I'm gonna scrape some of this off. Okay, all right, let's do it. Was this dry? Kinda, sort of, a little bit. It's a little bit tacky. Ooh, I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start at the top. Ooh, I might just put like little like kind of interesting shapes on there. Now those just kind of look like circles. They look a little bit boring. So what if I come back in and I kind of add a little bit of swirl to it and a little bit of swirl there to it and a little bit more swirl in there. Yeah. It's so painty. Yep, I just made painty a word. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of swirl it on there. Woo! Nicely done. I am loving this already. More green paint. I'm gonna come down to these legs now. Let's see, bloop, 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 bloop. Hmm, kind of like it. And up top, bloop, 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 bloop. And these ones, bloop, 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 these ones, bloop, bloop, bloop. And down low, boop, boop, boop. Oh, these need to be a little bit bigger. Nice, look at all of our cool little details on our awesome spider. What I think would also be awesome on this spider is if this spider web really stood out. Now obviously when we turn on the lights, the light is gonna glow through that because it's actually cut out in there. So the beams of light are gonna show through, but what if we add some color to it? Clean off the paintbrush. All right, pop stars, do you remember what color this shines through? What color is our light that's in there when we turn it on? If you remember what color it is, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's check it out. So remember, we're gonna turn it around. Turn it on. It's red! If you remember that the color of the light was red, give yourselves a hand. Yay! closest color to this red is gonna be this pretty orange color. I think that if we did a little bit of details on this to make this really stand out, it's gonna look amazing, so let's do it. Pop stars, look at this. I found an even tinier paintbrush. Look at how itty bitty it is. It's like a little tiny little paintbrush. Ooh. This is gonna be perfect. Just a little tiny bit. All right, now I'm gonna come right around. I'm literally just gonna kinda aim for right where the web is, and I'm going for it. Wow, pop stars, look at that! Oh, I wonder how this is gonna look when we light it up. <gasps> Whoa! red color to glow so brightly. I love this. This looks amazing. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> now we're going to add even more details. But first, you know what to do. Okay, pop stars. So 
One thing that I left out when I was painting the purple was that edge. Now I think that it would be really awesome and look really great and make the purple super pop is if we add some white to that edge all the way around our spider. So let's do it and watch this spider pop. Ooh. Pop stars, this looks awesome. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit more to it. Don't worry, but I, I'm gonna have to let this dry. But there's one more thing that I wanna do before I let the spider dry. So this is kind of an interesting technique, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna dip the end of this in that paint right there. And then I'm gonna take my thumb on this and I'm just gonna just almost like a spider web just went across my spider. Woo! It's giving like little white speckles all over my spider. Woo! 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 That looks awesome. Add spider web speckles and sprays. It kind of even looks like stars a little bit. Wow! This looks so cool. Look at my fingers! Oh my goodness! Pop stars, I got my fingers all messy! They have so much white paint all over them! I'm definitely gonna have to wash my hands before I paint our next Halloween decoration! But look at this spider! How cool is that? It looks like we have spider webs that go all over our spider! I feel like this is perfect for this! Ooh. I do have to let this completely dry before I add one more detail. So until then, let's paint our other decorations! All right, so I decided that we're gonna do this awesome skull! He's a skull man! I'm a skull. I have spiders all over my face and on my eyeball. Oh, Mr. Skull Man, you were so silly. But now we're going to paint you and make, decorate you and make you look awesome. So let's do it. Pop stars, look at the paint that is around this skull's head. This gives me an idea of how we're going to decorate our skull. So let's go ahead and we're going to start off by painting our skull the traditional color of white. Let's do it. This should be so easy. I'm literally just going to take this paint and paint the whole thing white. White paint all over his face, all over the teeth. Everywhere is going to be white. This is going to be so easy. So we just paint over everything. La 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 la, la 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 la. Painting everything white, 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 white. So, <laughs> all the way around and up. And whoa, I'm getting some globs on there. That's okay though. Over the cheeks, around the nose, over the spiders. Hey, those are spiders. I know, Mr. Skull, don't worry. You're gonna see your spider soon enough. Even though I'm kind of just glopping this on here, after I get it glopped on, I wanna go through and smooth it out because I do wanna make sure that the white paint does actually look nice and it's not just sloppy on there. Ooh, it's in his nose. It's almost like he has paint boogies. Ew! Okay, we almost have the whole thing painted white. Have this up here. Oh, I missed a little spot right there. Getting the nose again. Man, so many paint boogies today. All right, now this little section right there. Paint, 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 paint. I'm tickling the spider. Okay, so our entire skull is painted white, just like a traditional skull. It looks so awesome. But something that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add lots and lots and lots of colors. Colors! Yeah! Okay, so I wanna add a bunch of flowers to our skull. So I wanna start off with a really pretty purple flower. I think that that is a great idea. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and here we go. Ooh, what a cute little flower. Very pretty. Now let's add a blue flower. Ooh. Getting into that little spider area. The spider's like, ho, 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 ho. It's okay, Mr. Spider, don't worry. We're still gonna see you in there, I promise. Pop stars, check out that really cool blue flower. Now let's add an orange flower. Ooh, the orange is looking amazing. 
Now I think I actually want to add maybe a little orange right there too. I think that that would look so cool. Wow, it's awesome. Now let's go back to our purple color. We're gonna add another purple flower. Nice. All right, pop stars, what color do you think is gonna come next? We did orange, purple, blue. Orange, purple, blue. That's right, blue is gonna go right there. Let's do it. Wow, pop stars, look at our pretty flowers that go across the skull. You might be thinking to yourself, I'm not sure if those look like flowers. And you know what, you're right. They do kind of look like flowers, but they also kind of look like maybe a hat, like a hat for a skull. And they kind of do a little bit actually, but that's okay. One thing that we are missing are leaves. And what color are leaves? Green! Let's add some leaves. Woo! Alright pop stars, so we have added a few little leaves to our skull that has a flower crown on its head. Let's decorate some more of these other details. Okay pop stars, so I kind of want all of our decorations to match. So in keeping in theme, I'm actually going to keep our little spider over here purple. So let's paint it purple. Ooh, and we've got a purple spider, woo! And again, in keeping in theme, I'm gonna add some of that green to our spider. Because remember, from our original spider, boop, she's purple and she has these green dots on her legs. So I'm gonna do the same thing on our spider that's on our skull. Got my green paint, and we're just gonna very gently Boop, boop, boop. Woo, this is really hard. Ah, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Little dots all over her legs. Yes, it's done. Woo, that was a challenge. But you know what? Challenge accepted. Done. Now, just like our spider that we did, there are some other details about this skull that I can't really do until the paint is completely dry. So until then, let's move on to the next decoration. Woo, woo! Yeah, look at this, we've got our squirrel friend. I have been looking forward to painting this cute little squirrel. <laughs> oh man, so much fun on here. This even looks like a little heart that's on there. And look, she's holding a little acorn. Or maybe she's saving it for later, I'm not sure, but she looks very thankful to have her little acorn. So cute! All right, let's paint her. I think for our squirrel, the main color is probably gonna be orange. I feel like out of all of these colors, that's gonna be the closest one to making a real squirrel. But of course, we don't have to have a squirrel that looks like a real squirrel. I mean, have you ever seen a squirrel that has a heart on them? I know I haven't, maybe you have. Orange paint. I'm gonna start with our squirrel's face and just paint this in this really bright orange color. Now notice I did not paint her nose. I think I'm gonna save that and make that a different color. Who knows, maybe I'll make it orange too. I'm not sure yet, but we're definitely doing her face orange. And I think this is coming out great. Wow, that looks awesome. She's already starting to come to life. Oh, I love it so much. I also think that I wanna do the backside of her tail orange. So let's do that too. Wow, look at how bright and awesome that is. I'm gonna kinda angle it there because there's not really a line that says where this ends or I'm just gonna end it right there. Now, something that is a little bit unique but I think it's gonna be fun is gonna be this heart right here. What if we did this pretty purple color? I'm gonna have to be really careful to try and get and stay inside of those lines there. But remember, if I go outside the lines, no big deal. We can always still make it beautiful no matter how we paint this. I've grabbed my teeniest paintbrush that I have. I've got my purple paint. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm actually doing a pretty good job at this. Looks like I went outside the lines just a little bit, but that's okay.
Ooh, look at that heart. It's so cool. I love this. That looks so pretty. And it's like she has this beautiful little purple heart. Oh, our squirrel is so sweet, isn't she? I think that it's time that we do the other section of this tail. And now I think that we should actually go with white because there is another surprise detail that I'm gonna add. And I think that it's gonna look really great with the white, with the orange, with the surprise. So you're gonna have to wait on it. Here we go. Whoa! It's like a creamsicle squirrel. And I love it. Now what should we do next? Something that's pretty cool about this squirrel is if you look at their ears, her ears look like they have like, like little leaves or maybe they're little trees. And trees, leaves are green. So let's make her ears green. Woo! I'm gonna do the lighter green first. Fun, 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 fun for everyone. I'm painting my squirrel ears green. Green ears, green ears, green ears. I mean, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna feel about the green ears, but I actually really like them. They're super unique, woo! Pop stars, look, I didn't even notice that there's a little leaf shape down here. Oh, I gotta get my green back out. But let's use this little tiny paintbrush instead because that is a really tiny, skinny little leaf. All right, let's get in there. Ooh, whoa, this is really tough. Oh, I'm trying so hard to stay in the lines. Oh, it's really hard. Okay, here we go. Ooh, right over there, just a little bit more. Yes, okay, I got it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this leaf. I mean, it looks awesome, but wow, that was hard to paint. So cool though, woo! So something that I think I should have already painted orange is this acorn, but I'm gonna hold off because I've been using this to like hold my squirrel. So I'm gonna wait on that, but I still need to paint her body. And I'm not really sure what color to paint her body. Hmm. Out of all these colors here, what color do you think that I should paint her body? We've already used the orange. So we're gonna put that aside. We've used some purple. We've used this green color here. So really there's these. I'm not sure if this is gonna stand out that much, but this will. Let's paint her body blue. Wow, and I love this color blue. It is so pretty, it is so bright. It actually even reminds me of the ocean, which I'm not sure why a squirrel would wanna be in the ocean. Unless maybe they're water skiing, of course. <laughs> So cool. So far, this is pretty easy. Where I'm not sure it's gonna be as easy as when we start getting to the little leaf and the heart. Oh, and her hands. She has little hands there. Oh, I gotta be careful with those. Okay, I got her hand. Okay, I think I'm gonna paint just this part of her body, and then the other part, I might paint it a different color. She's got like a leg that's there. I don't wanna add too much of one color for our squirrel. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to use another paintbrush to get in on those details. That's a little bit too close to the other paint colors, and I don't want it all to mush together. Okay, so I've got my little tiny paintbrush. Here we go. Well, pop stars, I did it. I did it, I went around the heart and it looks so good. Yes. Why don't we come back in with some white right here? I feel like we've got, you know, two of the oranges, we've got one blue, but I don't wanna put the blue right next to the blue, that doesn't make sense, but we can definitely add some more white right there for her leg. Nicely done, it looks great. Now I'm gonna come in with some really fine little details, but I'm actually not going to use this bright green for this. I am going to use my darker green here for a few extra details. The first one is gonna be in the center here of her leaf ears. Oh yes, she definitely looks like a little woodland awesome creature. Mew! I love those. Now this part is really cool because this has some really cool details that are right here and I wanted to come in with this green paint just right along that edge there. Ooh. 
This is standing out so nicely. I'm gonna come all the way around with it. I'm gonna come into this orange area too. So cool, I love the green. It really makes you go, oh, there's a leaf in there. Perfect, oh, she's adorable. Let's paint, while I have my green out, let's go ahead and paint her acorn because I wanna make the top of her acorn this really pretty dark green color. Nice, and now I wanna make her acorn orange. It almost looks like she's holding a little jack-o'-lantern, which is exactly the look I was going for. I wanted it to look like she was holding a little pumpkin, not a little acorn, because after all, this is our Halloween squirrel. Now for her nose, I'm gonna do purple. So it really separates those colors, and we only have a little tiny bit of purple in here, so I think our squirrel is in need of some pretty purple. Make that little nose just stand out. Ooh, cute! And then we'll go ahead and add some purple here too. Why not? Oh, that looks awesome! And you know what? She's got some under her eyes too, so I'm just gonna add some there too. These almost look like purple eyelashes. Oh, so cute! We have a cute little squirrel, a squirrel, a squirrel. <laughs> Wait, I kind of feel like I'm making monkey sounds right now, not really squirrel sounds right now. What, is, what does the squirrel say? They're like. <coughs> that is all that we're gonna do for our squirrel for right now until she dries. And then we're gonna add a few little details to her to make her look even more amazing, yes! All right, pop stars, so far this is what our cute little decorations look like. Remember we started off with this awesome spider? Woo! Then we went into our skull that has this really, really unique and pretty flower crown. And then we finished off with our awesome little squirrel. Squeak, 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 squeak. Now that our decorations are dry, we're gonna add some little fun details. For our details, I'm gonna need the help of a Sharpie. I will tell you what, when it comes to detailing anything, Sharpies are bomb.com. Oh yeah. Let's start with our spider. I'm actually gonna come in and I just wanna go ahead and trace the difference between the purple and the white that's in there. So it really helps this to just stand out a little bit more. And there we have it. I've done the Sharpie all the way in between all of the purple and the white that's in there. It just makes this spider stand out a lot more. Woo! Okay, let's do our skull. Oh, Mr. Skull, skull, skull. Mm, Mr. Awesome Skull, please shine down on me. Woo! With this one, one thing that you pop stars may have noticed is that the teeth. Look at our skull's teeth. You can barely see them. I mean, they're there, yeah, but I want to really be able to see them. That's where our Sharpie is going to come in and help us out. Wow, what a big difference that makes by having some teeth on there. Woo! Now I feel like our skull can actually talk. Yeah! Oh, thank you, Lola. I appreciate having my teeth. Ha ha ha! <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Skull. All right, now we're gonna give some details to our awesome flower crown. Look at that. Now it actually looks like a real flower crown. Woo! -hoo. All right, spider time. Nicely done. Oh, our skull looks so fun. Let's finish up with our squirrel. Oh, so pretty. Wow, our squirrel's face looks so nice. It really makes those details pop out. Oh, I love it. Now we've added all the details to our awesome little squirrel. Wow, pop stars, check out our amazing Halloween decorations. I had so much fun painting these. They look amazing. The details and the fun and all the coolness that's in this is just spectacular, or should I say? Spectacular. <laughs> okay, now let's see how they look when we light them up. Let's count down together. Three, two, one. Wow, oh 
Oh my goodness, pop stars. Look at how incredible these look. Oh, I just love the details of them. Look at our spider. Oh, it's so cool. I love the light that's shining through it. And you've got all of the little speckles that are all over it that look just like spider webs with that orange really makes that red light pop. And then of course we have our awesome skull. Now this one is so Cool. I mean, look at how incredible this was. When I first took this out and I saw that I had the red light, it honestly reminded me of Spider-Man. But now, mm, this doesn't quite have that spidey effect anymore, even though it has three awesome little spiders on it. Woo! And then, of course, we have this awesome squirrel that is just so cute with its little, I was going to say acorn, but it's actually a little pumpkin. I love the little pumpkin that it's holding. It looks so cute with its purple eyelashes and its long, luscious tail and its glowing white line, the cute little fleef and the heart. It's so fun. Oh, wow. Pop stars, which one of these awesome decorations was your favorite? Was it the spider? Was it the skull? Or was it the squirrel? Let me know. I would love to know which one is your absolute favorite. Oh, my goodness. Look at my hands. I am covered in paint. It looks like I'm gonna have some major cleanup to do after this video. <laughs> Popstars, I had so much fun with you today. If you had fun with me today too, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Lola Pop so you never miss another episode. Catch you later, pop stars. Happy Halloween! Parents, grandparents, teachers, babysitters, I would love to be your friend on social media. Let's connect on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.